This is a VW Hillside Birchover Classic. Now this of course is based on the VW van style of vehicle or VW Transporter. And what's brilliant about these of course is they make fantastic family cars that you can take away for the weekend and stay in. So we'll take a little wander around the outside first of all. These are a nice looking vehicle. I like the colour of this one. Alloy wheels look very smart on it as well. But it's the sort of thing, you know, take the kids to school, you can go to work in, you can park in a car park. You know, it's a nice, compact vehicle. And it looks pretty cool as well. But on the inside then, what you've got is something that you can spend a weekend or a week or however long you want pretty comfortably. It's got the lifting roof. You can see the one behind is lifted up. I'm going to lift this one up and show you how that works. And we access the interior. Well, obviously, you've got the doors on the front for getting into the front, but this is how you access the main body of it. And this is what I mean, how when you have it like this, it is very much like a saloon car, albeit one with an enormous amount of legroom. Except that when you look at the front, you've then got seats that swivel around here, and you've also got then this area, which I'll show you what that's all about in just a minute. But we'll start off, I think, by lifting the roof. So if I give that a shove, because it's not clipped down, that one goes up like that. And then that one will lift as well. And now we've got actually standing headroom in here. That's really impressive. You've got windows in this as well. You can see that one is zipped up at the moment, but then they roll down like this. So if you want light into here, you can have it. And you've also got a bed up here because this, if you pull it back down, there we go, gives you somewhere to sleep. So that is that. Let's put that back up again for the moment. Really easy to use. And the other area you've got for sleeping then is back here. And this again is really clever because there's a little lever on the side now, this is a bit of a two-handed job. Can I do this while holding a GoPro? Let's have a go. So, because you've got to keep that pressed in and then lift it at the back. There we go. There we go. I'm afraid you saw more of me than you did of the seat, but that's how that works. It goes all the way over. It locks into different positions. That's why it needs two hands. So I'll push that again. I can bring that all the way down. There we go. And then that back one, that bar there, we pull. And again, need two hands, really. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That drops over, and voila! We have a huge double bed. That is rather cunning, isn't it? Let's see if I can remember how to put it back again. So that one lifts up. Like so. Prod that lever. That releases that one. And away we go. Easy as anything. You might have noticed when we had that flipped over that there was a chemical loo in there and that slides out from just here. And if we have a look over here, then this is the kitchen area. So we've got a little two burner hob underneath there. There's a sink under that one. This one opens like so, and that gives us a little cooker and the fridge like so, and a bit of storage in there as well, put that back, and then this is just little areas of storage and access all the way along here. Plug sockets in the back there, switches, and then we've got the boot behind. We should have a look at the boot, shouldn't we? That's the only thing we haven't seen. Let's go back out here. And hopefully that's unlocked. There we go. That's that seat section that we saw when it was flipped over. So you've got the storage down underneath there. There we go. Let's drop that one back down. I think that's pretty cool. It's got a two litre engine in it, so a reasonable amount of power, certainly all you need for that kind of vehicle. And that would make a nice weekend away, wouldn't it? Let's go and have a little sit inside. And I will say huge thanks to Highbridge Motorhomes down in Devon. They've organised this tour for me, and huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these 
very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.